folks, get ready because we have another bombshell about 3i Atlas. And when I say bombshell, it's because this time the numbers are so absurd that even the scientists themselves had to perform mathematical gymnastics to try to explain the inexplicable. A new scientific study just came out revealing the latest anomaly of this mysterious object, methanol in record quantities. And I'm not talking about a little bit above normal, no. I'm talking about levels that have simply never been seen in any natural object in the universe. We'll leave the study link in the first pinned comment. Let's get to the facts. In normal comets, those we know well, methanol represents between 1 to 5% of the amount of water present in the object. It's a small, natural, expected proportion. But 3i Atlas? Well, it already starts by breaking the rules. First problem, it has only 4% water. That's right, only 4%. This is something never seen before. How do you compare methanol with water when there's practically no water to compare? The scientists had a creative idea. They decided to compare methanol with hydrogen cyanide, which is already abundant and anomalous in 3i Atlas. And even so, even comparing it with a substance that's already at strange levels, methanol was 79 to 120 times more abundant. To give you an idea of the madness, if they had compared it with water, as is normally done, we would be talking about something 800 times above what it should be. 800 times! It's such an absurd number that it would be impossible to explain naturally. Now, pay attention to this important detail. In the study, scientists mentioned that there has already been a comet with a high methanol rate, C2016R, two pan stars. And this is where the danger of half-truth lies. Yes, Panstars had a high rate of methanol, but why? Not because it had a lot of methanol, but because it had very little water. When you have little water, the proportion of methanol automatically becomes higher, but the absolute amount of methanol was normal. In 3i Atlas, it's different. The real, absolute amount of methanol is what's extraordinary. It's like comparing someone who looks tall because they're in a room full of dwarfs with someone who really is a giant. Scientists, of course, have a natural explanation. According to them, 3i Atlas may have formed in a much colder environment than our comets, resulting in a different composition. But here's the problem. Our comets already form practically at absolute zero. The Oort cloud where our comets are born has temperatures between 3 to 30 Kelvin. The interstellar medium has about 2.7 Kelvin. They're suggesting that a difference of just one degree colder would be enough to explain this absurd anomaly. It's like saying you became a giant because you took a shower with water one degree colder. Here's what impresses me. At no time, no time, do the scientific studies consider the artificial hypothesis. Zero, not for a second. But look at this, methanol is a fuel. And I'm not just talking about cars, Methanol is considered a fuel of the future for spacecraft because it's extremely efficient. Interesting, don't you think? Even more interesting, methanol can be produced by fermentation, a common biological process. So we have a space object carrying absurd quantities of a fuel that can be produced biologically. And nobody finds this suspicious? As Dr. Avi Loeb said, comet experts can only see comets. It's like an artificial intelligence trained only to recognize comets. No matter what you show it, it will try to explain it as being a comet. And speaking of Avi Loeb, he brought disturbing information about changes in NASA data. He sent an email to David Fornacha from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory asking for explanations about 3i Atlas's non-gravitational acceleration. NASA's response? Total silence. But they did something interesting. They altered the data in the official database. Before, the data showed that 3i Atlas would pass 53.5 million kilometers from Jupiter within the planet's hill radius. Now, magically, the new data shows it will pass 53.587 million kilometers outside the hill radius. NASA claims the acceleration was smoother and more prolonged than they initially thought, but Avi Loeb completely disagrees. According to him, the acceleration was steep and sudden, so much so that it hadn't been detected before, appearing out of nowhere. 
Do you know what the statistical probability is of 3i Atlas passing exactly at the boundary of Jupiter's hill radius by pure chance? 0.004%, practically zero. And this position is perfect for releasing probes into the Jovian system. It would be the ideal location for an exploration, colonization, or even rescue mission, like that strange signal detected on Ganymede that we've already discussed before. Think with me, if we're dealing with something artificial, it would be from a civilization capable of interstellar travel, something we're nowhere near achieving. This civilization would obviously be much more advanced than ours. To understand the dimension of this, look at our own evolution. In 1983, the most advanced cell phone in the world was a brick that only made calls. Today, 42 years later, we have devices that fold, connect instantly to the entire world, take photos that appear on the other side of the planet in seconds. If someone from 1983 saw a current smartphone, they would probably think it's a toy or magic. And we're talking about just 42 years of human technological difference. Imagine what a civilization thousands or millions of years more advanced would be capable of creating. Maybe we're looking at technology so far beyond our understanding that we can't even recognize it as technology. There are already more than 15 anomalies in 3i Atlas. With each new discovery, natural explanations become more forced, more improbable. It's like trying to explain a smartphone to someone from 1800 using only mechanical clock concepts. Let's be clear. 3i Atlas is not a common comet. This is already established. Even if it's natural, it would be something completely new, never seen before. But the evidence increasingly points to something artificial. Methanol at record levels, anomalous metallic composition, non-gravitational acceleration, statistically impossible trajectory, and now data being mysteriously altered. How many coincidences are needed before we consider other possibilities? The methanol in 3i Atlas isn't just another anomaly, it's another piece of a puzzle that's forming an increasingly clear picture, a picture that official science refuses to see. Meanwhile, we continue observing, questioning, and seeking the truth. Because the truth, no matter how incredible it may be, always comes to light. And you, what do you think? How many impossible anomalies are needed before we consider that maybe just maybe, we're not alone in the universe. As we approach December 19th, when Atlas reaches its closest point to Earth, hundreds of telescopes will be searching for 5.5 billion tons of missing gas. If that gas isn't there, we'll know we're not looking at a comet. We'll be looking at something far more extraordinary, a piece of technology from another world demonstrating propulsion capabilities that defy our understanding of physics itself. The countdown to potentially the most significant discovery in human history has begun. In just a few weeks, we'll know whether we are truly alone in the universe, or if we are currently observing our first confirmed visitor from the stars. Stay tuned, because we're about to witness either the most unusual comet in cosmic history, or humanity's first confirmed encounter with extraterrestrial technology. Leave your opinions in the comments and keep following! because something tells me this story is far from over.